Hi, I'm Michael. I'm Matt. And we are back with another maths game. This is one we made up. It's called All That Remains. Now, to play, all you need is a deck of cards. We're using school friendly cards. You want the deck to have from zero to nine. Um, so, if you're using a regular deck, queens are zeros, aces is ones. Take out the tens, take out the picture cards, besides the queens. Okay, to start with, each player is dealt five cards. Now the other thing that you, it's optional, you don't need, but we're going to have a pen and paper for each of us and we'll show you why we use them later. You could get by with, without having the pen and paper, but I think it's probably better to use it. All right, now to play, the, ga the object of the game is to make a division equation uh, that has a remainder in it. So um, do you want to go first or second, Nash? Have you got yes. one? You've got one ready to go? Okay. So Nash is going to make a division equation. We'll put it for the camera, Nash. 14 divided by 3. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. So 14 divided by 3. Okay, so we will be recording Nash's equation like this. Um, now, because Nash got a remainder of 2, that means that that is Nash's score. Two. So Nash takes those two cards, yeah. and those two cards represent two points. This other card goes into a discard pile, and we may end up using it later. And then Nash, you use three cards, so he goes back up, so he's got five cards again. All right, so they're yours, Nash. So now it's my turn. Now I probably should have planned. Okay, so I'll do 19 divided by three. So I score, so I would score one point. So I keep that one card as my one point. Those two cards go in the discard pile and I pick up three new cards. Now play continues like this. Uh, Nash, have you got another one ready? Yes. Okay, so put your next equation out. 12 divided by eight. Sir. Okay, so this is a good one we can talk to. So play continues like this. Now the rule is the first number in the equation can be one digit, two digit, three digit, four digit. The second number has to be a one-digit number, and there's a reason why we kind of discovered this. So it has to be a one-digit number there. Okay, so Nash has made a four-point equation, but he's made it with three cards. So he still scores four points, so he'll take the three cards from there, and we'll just steal one card from the discard pile to give him his four points. Now, Nash, you need three new cards from the draw pile. One, two, three, and then you'd be ready to go again. Fourteen divided by four. Okay, so beautiful. What's fourteen divided by four? Um, two remaining. Yeah, but so now this is the reason why we use the paper. So Nash is just, but previously he's just been working out what the remainder is without being able to solve the equation. So write it down, Nash. Fourteen divided by four. You're right. It has got a remainder of two. But how many fours are there in 14? That's the first thing I want to know. How many fours are in 14? Yeah. Four. Four fours in 14? Oh, that's three. Three fours? Yeah. Yep. 14 divided by four equals four. Two. So hold on, how many fours are there in 14? Oh, yes, yeah. three. Three. Three remain to two. Okay, so you get two cards for that. Yeah. That one goes over there. And how many new cards do you need? Three. Now I pick up from the middle, I need three new cards. So one, two, Three, that's now empty. Nash and I keep playing until we can't do anything else. So, Nash. Seven, wait, yes, seven, wait, eight divided by three yeah. equals, equals, Two. 
Fantastic. So you get those two. So you don't get to pick up now. You just work in what you've got. I'm going to do 50 divided by 6, which is 8. Remainder 2. So I take those two. That goes in the discard pile. Now, can you do anything with what you've got, Nash? Yes. 78 divided by 7. Yep. 1. 1 for the remainder, yeah, but what's the answer? 11. 11. So record it down. Great maths, bud. Beautiful. So you get that. They go in the discard pile. Now for my last turn, I didn't plan this out very well. I'm just left with that. So I'm done. I can't do anything. So I'm going to chuck those over there. Um, and now to decide the winner, we just count our pile. And whoever's got the most cards is the winner. 16. 15. Oh, yeah. That's the first time you've eaten it, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so that's um, all that remains. So like I said, deck of cards and paper and pencil is an added bonus. Really great game for work. It's really challenging, isn't it, Nash? Really great game for working on multiple thinking. Uh, we hope you enjoy it, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.